Lastly, about the mechanism of action of BPC-157 is that there is good research to show that BPC-157 is able to cross the blood-brain barrier and help to regulate neurogenesis and help with reducing inflammation within the brain. It does this, or it's speculated and within cell models to do this through the upregulation of what's called brain-derived neurotrophic factor, which is important in neuroplasticity and our brains beneficially changing, and it's also able to regulate the NMDA receptor, which is a receptor that's required for excitation or neuronal signaling within the brain. And when left in excess, the neurons can be hyper-stimulated and that can be toxic to a neuron. So there has to be a fine balance between excitation and the GABA system, which helps with the inhibitory responses within the central nervous system. And so BPC-157 can be great for reducing neuronal inflammation and also helping potentially with neurodegenerative disorders, Parkinson's, Alzheimer's, dementia, at reducing the inflammation. And then mechanistically speaking, if we're able to reduce the inflammation and upregulate the brain-derived neurotrophic factor, then we could possibly get some neuronal regeneration within the brain. That's completely mechanistic at this point, but I do think BPC-157 could be a good adjunctive therapy in many neurodegenerative disorders.